In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a subdomain in Hostinger. To get started, first of all, you need to log into your Hostinger account. I've already logged in. And what I do is come over to my hosting plan right here. I'm using the business web hosting package. By the way, if you want to get a hosting with Hostinger, I will leave a link to it in the description down below. You also see it on your screen. You can also get a 10% discount with the code on your screen right now. All right, let's get started. So I will just come to my hosting package, then I go ahead and click on manage. And it will take me straight to my website. That is if I'm having only one website on Hostinger. However, I have more than one website, so I can drop down the arrow here and choose the particular one for which I want to create the subdomain. For this demonstration, I'm going to use digupages.com. Scrolling down, I click on domains. And I have subdomains right here. I go ahead and click on it. Inside this field where I have subdomain is where I enter my subdomain. For this demonstration, I will enter print. So my subdomain will be print.decoupages.com. You may also want to create a custom folder for your subdomain. So I select this. Then I just go ahead and enter print. Then I click on create. Subdomain created successfully. Now if I scroll down to files, I have file manager here. I click on it. From here, I click on access files of decoupages.com, which will open in the new tab. I open up public underscore HTML and I have my subdomain right here that is print. So if I install WordPress on the subdomain I've just created, this is where all the files will be stored. Perfect. Now let me show you how you can install WordPress on your subdomain. I exit from here. Then I come over to website. I click on auto installer. At the moment, these are the domains I have with decoupages.com. This is the main one. And I have a subdomain right here that is courses.decoupages.com. Now let's go ahead and install WordPress on print.decoupages.com. That is the new subdomain I just created. It should be noted that you can install only WordPress or WordPress with WooCommerce. For this demonstration, I'm going to install only WordPress. So I click on select. Under website credentials, I enter the name of my website. So I'll just say print shop. In the admin email address, I leave it as it is. The username, I'll go ahead and change it. Then password. The next thing you want to do, which is very important, is go over to advanced. Take note, it's very important. And then under installation path, if you install WordPress now, it will go and replace the existing website you have on your domain. So what you want to do is drop down the arrow here. Then you go ahead and choose the particular subdomain on which you want to install WordPress. For this demonstration, mine is print.decoupages.com. So I select it. You don't want to put anything under subdirectory. Then you go ahead and click on next. You can leave all this as it is. Then click on install. And WordPress will install in some few seconds. I exit from here. All right, WordPress is successfully installed. Let me exit from this. Now I can go to the back end of my website by clicking on admin panel and I'll be redirected to the back end of my website. And we are right inside our WordPress dashboard. From here, you can start building your website with the tools you want to use for your website. Now, if I come back to Hostinger platform, it should be noted that you can actually find all your websites right here so that you know exactly which particular one you want to work on. Awesome. So that's it on how you can create a subdomain on Hostinger. I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly click on the like button, subscribe if you are new here, and also enable the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my future videos. In the meantime, stick around to watch another video YouTube thinks you should watch next. Keep watching, and I will see you in the next one.